it's Auntie. Welcome to your welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be comparing The Sims 4 and Bloxburg. If you guys did not look at my community tab last week, I made a poll asking you guys if you'd like to see The Sims 4 content because I purchased it a few days ago for on Origin for $5.99. It's a pretty good game, but I also realized some similarities they have with Bloxburg. When I first bought it, I FaceTimed my cousin and we were talking about the game because she had it previously. She told me how Bloxburg was actually inspired by The Sims based on UGY the interactiveness within the game and build mode which if you guys don't know I've done a bit uh, like one speed build on my channel but my channel's majority Bloxburg and I decided I should probably dive into this because this will make really good content and something that I don't think a lot of people know about so before we get started don't forget to like this video and subscribe once you are subscribed hit the notification bell to get notified every time I post a new video I'm trying to post at least twice once to twice a week so if you guys want to tell me when I should upload so it's perfect for your schedule because I just started school leave it in the description the description the comments down below and I'll see you guys oh I'll see you guys we aren't going anywhere and let's just carry on with this video so the first thing we're gonna cover is the similarity similarities between Bloxbury to Sims 4 and UGY uh, U G G U I. So if you guys don't know what a U G Y is, I'm just gonna call it that because I keep on messing it up. It's basically the things at the top, such as the time, the date, um, which update it is, starving, the comfortability of where I am, my money, and everything on the side of the game. So how I interact with build mode and such. So I realized that if you guys didn't play r well. Bloxburg in 2020, you didn't know, well, 2019 actually, you had a little profile picture of your character at the bottom corner telling how your mood was. For example, if I was hungry, it would show my character looking hungry or just looking down with it right next to my character. So I try to insert a, vi a picture of what I mean right here. And as you can see, I'm going to show a picture of the same on the sims if you guys don't know sims actually did come out before blocksburg way before blocksburg i'm going to put on the um start date of the sims bait and compare it to the start date of blocksburg so as you can see blocksburg did start after sims first started sims 1 at least because they have many variations of the game and as you can see it did become the was a game before the sims so you could see that Roxburg was trying to be a like a free version of the sims in roblox so you can see the similarities there the next similarity i'm going to cover is the build mode so if you guys don't know in the sims you can also make your new house in a new house just like how you can in Bloxburg. so i'm going to show how it looks when you're in build mode in the sims and how it looks when you're build mode in Bloxburg. as you can see they both go by one by one grids and you have a wall that you can start from in your um in your place so i'm going to go into build mode right now and i have a grid over here next to the house i'm currently spawned in and i could spawn a wall and create a room this is a very bad room example but as you can see i can create a i'm gonna call this a three by three room using the um tool to make a wall so goes in the sims 4 so maybe that's something that you guys didn't really know oh my gosh it's getting so dark so we're gonna quickly run into the house so that may be something that you guys don't know but Bloxburg and the sims are very similar in that aspect the next similarity between Bloxburg and The Sims is how you can interact with your character. So if you guys don't know, in Bloxburg, you can make your character change its outfit 
boosts his mood and do several emotes such as my favorite, <laughs> the classic Becky dance, and so is in The Sims. You might not be able to dance or change your avatar using that interact tool clip, but you could also make them have interactions with other Sims. You can make them sleep, go to bed, oh, same thing. You can make them use the restroom, cook, and etc. The next similarity between The Sims and Bloxburg is how you enter the game. So if you're a newbie and you just started Bloxburg, you are provided with a starter hope called Happy Home of Robloxia. Such as in The Sims, you also get provided with a starter home. They, I'm going to put two pictures of them by, side by side and hopefully you guys can see the similarities or see how they both start off of the starter home. You can later delete the home or get a new plot just like each other and you can make a new house. You are provided with money when you first join. In Bloxburg, you are provided with about $7,000, while in The Sims, you are provided with $20,000. The next thing I'm going to compare between Bloxburg and The Sims is character customization. If you guys know, in Bloxburg, you can customize your character just in case you don't have Roblox. Robux in-game, you can go into Roblox and buy outfits using um, the Bloxburg catalog, which I'm going to show right now. As you can see, I am here, well, I'm a naked, but <laughs> I am in the character customization, so I can click on any outfit that I choose. Here's my troll outfit. <laughs> and I can look through the Roblox catalog that is provided on Bloxburg, which is the same on The Sims. So if you guys don't know, when you first start The Sims 4 or any Sims game as I believe, you can customize your character look just like you, provide a name, etc. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Once you are subscribed, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. So if you guys want me to do a Sims video coming very soon, I would be very excited to do that because I did download The Sims. A lot of you guys had mixed feelings on me starting Sims. A lot of people said I shouldn't waste my money. And a lot of people said I should go for it. So I really thank you guys both for your feedback and hopefully you guys like some of the sims video i post if you guys want me to make a separate channel on the sims i would also be more than happy to do so so before you leave this video don't forget to follow me at roblox on roblox at black panther one underscore a and join the group at glow teaks and buy and please help me buy my omg can't speak merch i say this all the time but i am actually working on some new merchandise coming very very soon and yeah so i'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!